Welcome everyone to Raph of Leo's Minecraft tutorial on crafting a furnace from cobblestone. I am Raph of Leo. Again, I'll be using my four sword rating scale to gauge the level of difficulty of the content in this video. One sword for Minecraft beginners, and four swords for master Minecrafters. I've rated this video one sword for Minecraft beginners. Now let's get to the good stuff. Early in your Minecraft career, you may find the basic recipes to survival a challenge much like I did. In one of my other Minecraft tutorial videos, I've showed you how to survive the moans and groans of the night by crafting a wooden sword. After fighting your way through that first night, you'll need to make sure you're fully fed in order to start regenerating hearts lost in battle. While eating a raw pork chop or even munching on a piece of rotten flesh will keep you just barely alive, eating meat and vegetables cooked in a furnace will rapidly regen your health within a few bites. Not only can a furnace cook a potato, it will also provide you with the raw materials for crafting torches and other useful items in Minecraft. Crafting a furnace is simple enough when you have the materials, which are readily available in most biomes. A progression of steps is necessary to craft a furnace. A furnace is crafted from cobblestone. In order to mine the cobblestone necessary to craft a furnace, we'll first need to craft a crafting table and a wooden pickaxe. Let's get started. Judging by the color of the tree bark in front of us, we're surrounded by oak trees. Let's chop three oak wood blocks so we can craft the planks we need for our crafting table and wooden pickaxe. Let's find a tree here we like. How about this one? We'll chop the trunk of the tree with our bare hands by holding the left mouse button. There's one, two, and three oak wood blocks. Now let's move into the clearing and find a place to craft our crafting table. This looks good. Press the E key on your keyboard to bring up your crafting and inventory menu. Now we'll left click and drag the three freshly chopped oak wood blocks from your hotkey bar into the first square of your crafting grid and left click again. Oak wood planks will appear in the output square with a small number four in the lower right corner like we see here. Each oak wood block will give you four oak wood planks. Left click and drag four oak wood planks from the output square and into your hotkey bar and left click again. Now we still see remaining oak wood planks in the output square. That's because we placed all three oak wood blocks in the crafting grid at the same time. By only left clicking and dragging, we will collect just one stack of four oak wood planks. Let's collect all of the remaining oak wood stacks at the same time. Hold the shift key on your keyboard, then left click to move the remaining oak wood planks from the output square onto the other four oak wood planks in your hotkey bar. Left click the stack of 12 oak wood planks in your hotkey bar and move your mouse cursor over the crafting grid. With your crafting and inventory menu still open, right click to place one oak wood plank block in each of the four squares of your crafting grid. As you see in the output square, we've crafted a crafting table. Return the remaining eight oak wood planks to the number one slot in your hotkey bar by left clicking. Oh, no, that's in our inventory. Let's move them down to our hotkey bar. Now left click and drag the crafting table from the output square down to the number two slot in your hotkey bar and left click again. Now we'll press the escape key on our keyboard to exit the inventory and crafting menu. And this spot in the clearing looks just as good as any to set up our crafting table. Press the number 2 key on your keyboard to highlight your crafting table. Now look down at the ground in front of you, and right click your mouse to place the crafting table here in the grass. Next we'll need to craft the wooden pickaxe we talked about earlier in order to mine the cobblestone for our furnace. I'll demonstrate in a bit why you must use a pickaxe in order to mine cobblestone. To craft our wooden pickaxe, we'll need two sticks and three oak wood planks. Since we've already crafted the oak wood planks for the blade of our pickaxe, all we have left to craft is two sticks for the handle. Move your mouse cursor over the crafting table in front of you, and right click your mouse to activate the expanded crafting table grid and inventory menu. To create a point of reference, I've numbered the squares of the crafting table grid 1 through 9. We have numbers 1, 2, and 3 along the top edge, numbers 4, 5, 
and 6 across the middle, and numbers 7, 8, and 9 along the bottom edge. Left click the entire stack of oak wood planks in your hotkey bar and move your mouse over the crafting table grid. Right click your mouse once in square number 1, and once in square number 4, placing oak wood planks in both squares. Do you see how the planks in the line resemble a stick shape? Move your mouse back down to your hotkey bar and left click your mouse in the number one slot to drop your remaining oak wood planks. Two oak wood planks will give you four sticks, just like you see here. From here, we'll move right into crafting our wooden pickaxe. Move your mouse cursor over the four sticks in the output square and left click your mouse. Move your mouse cursor over the crafting table grid and right click your mouse in square eight and square five to form the handle of your wooden pickaxe. Return the remaining sticks to your inventory by left clicking in the first empty square under the inventory title. Left click your stack of six oak wood planks in your hockey bar and right click once in square number one, two, and three to form the blade of your wooden pickaxe. You've done it. You've created your wooden pickaxe that you can use to mine cobblestone for your furnace. With plus two attack damage, this wooden pickaxe can also be used to fend off skeletons in case of emergency. Return the remaining oak wood planks to your inventory. Left click your new wooden pickaxe and move it to the first square in your hotkey bar. Press the escape key on your keyboard to exit from the crafting and inventory menu. You're ready to mine. We'll need to find a nearby mine to collect the eight pieces of cobblestone necessary to craft our furnace. Now that we take a look around here, we're very close to a huge ravine. This is a perfect place to collect our cobblestone. Now we'll have to get down into this ravine somehow. Let's go ahead and break some dirt blocks here. And we're in a ravine, so there could be quite a few different types of stone down here. Might not just be cobblestone, we gotta make sure we're collecting all the right things. Kinda build some steps here. So we can get back up to our crafting table. Do you remember me mentioning that I would demonstrate why you must use a pickaxe to mine cobblestone? Well here we go. I'll select an empty slot in my hotkey bar by pressing the 3 key on my keyboard. Now I'll look at this block of cobblestone and begin chopping with my bare hands. And I've made it through my first block. Hey, wait a second. No cobblestone in my hotkey bar. This is why a pickaxe is essential. While it's perfectly acceptable to chop down a tree with your bare hands, mining with your bare hands will force the cobblestone to disappear. Now that we know we must use a pickaxe, let's mine some cobblestone. Press the one key on your keyboard to make sure your wooden pickaxe is selected. Left click and hold the mouse key to mine eight cobblestone blocks. Now it looks like it's getting late. Let's make some steps and go up and grab our crafting table. Maybe we can move down into a better lit area. I spotted some lava down there in the ravine that we can hopefully get to. much we can do up here. So let's go ahead and grab our crafting table. Oh, we see a zombie coming. Let's hurry. Take our steps down. Let's jump into this waterfall. There we go. This will get us down quick. And here's that emergency. We have to fight off that skeleton with the pick we just made. Let's get down towards the light down at this lava here. Break a couple more blocks. Looks like we've actually collected a couple different types of stone here. Ah, we got a zombie. Hey, we're trying to build a furnace. Looks like we've collected a couple different types of stone here. Let's go ahead and empty our inventory. We'll press the E key on our keyboard. And we can left click and throw out our additional pieces of stone and dirt that we've collected. 
We'll go ahead and move over our cobblestone, move our crafting table that we collected. Now let's keep this bone. You never know when you'll run into a dog you might want to tame. Press the escape key to exit from your crafting table grid and inventory menu. Here we'll place our crafting table next to the lava here. Now that we have the materials, let's start crafting our furnace. Move your mouse cursor over your crafting table and right click to open the crafting table grid and inventory menu. Left click your stack of 8 cobblestone blocks and move your mouse cursor over the crafting table grid. Frame the outer edge of the crafting table grid with cobblestone by right clicking once in squares 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You've crafted a cobblestone furnace. Left click the furnace in the output square and drop it in the second square of your hotkey bar by left clicking. Press the escape key to exit from your crafting table grid and inventory menu. Press the 2 key on your keyboard to highlight your shiny new cobblestone furnace. Look to the ground and right click to place your furnace in front of you. In my next video I will show you how essential furnaces are to your survival in Minecraft. When fueled by sources like raw wood blocks or coal, furnaces can cook raw meat, vegetables, and even burn other blocks of wood to create charcoal used to build torches. If you like this video or have requests for other Minecraft tutorials or how-to videos, please subscribe to the Raph of Leo channel and post your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching!